Yo, what's up? We're not trying to make any noise out here today, but I'm out here in Scottsdale, Arizona with my boy, Golf Authority, Paul Levator. Hey, up, how you doing, baby? Good. So where are we at today? All right, this is the Indoor Golf Design. This is where I film all of my videos at. This place is super sick. It's not open to the public. And they make like super high-end sims, but they let me shoot here, so. I thought I had my boy come check it out. Practice yeah. before his big tournament tonight. Let's get it. Yeah, so as you guys know, I'm playing in this grass clippings and I need to get some extra work in because it's supposed to rain. So I'm yeah. here at the indoor golf design. It's supposed to be the ultimate simulator experience. Check it out. All right, dude. Thank you, bro. That place is sick. Come on in. <laughs> wow. The ultimate simulation experience. We don't think outside the box. We think of what we can do with the box. Oh, love that. This is tight. Yeah, so this is like one of the main rooms. Oh. This is so tight. This place tight? Yeah, you got good, good on. Yeah, you need to be on that. Yeah. <laughs> After you win tonight. This is sick. Man. Hey, got Big Daddy yeah, Brad doing, in man? here. How you doing? Good to man, see you. Man, thank you so much for you having bet. me. You bet. How's Heck going? Yeah. Very good, man. Yeah. Gonna have Very a little fun good. today? Oh, I hope so, man. Get better? Yeah. All right. That's yeah, the goal. Man. Have a good time. Get better. Yeah. Enjoy your golf game. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. So what can you tell me about here, man? Why why'd you, what's up with this uh, indoor golf design? Where did it come from? So the, the concept started, um, actually opened an indoor golf bar originally. Okay. A couple of them. Um, realized I didn't like running a bar every day, but I love the simulators. Okay. And uh, the manufacturers were all out east. Nobody wanted to do installs, so we started installing them. And realized nobody's doing custom. Back then they were all a vinyl box. Right. Couldn't imagine throwing that in somebody's living room in a ten million dollar home. Just wasn't going to work. <laughs> so we said, uh, Hey, can we do something custom? Can we take these things and, and pimp them out? You know, super high end. I'm like, yeah, do whatever you want to do. You guys know what you're doing. So we locked up 11 manufacturers, started rock and rolling about 12 years ago with that. And then uh, a couple years into it, we realized it's kind of like cars. Really hard to explain a custom car to somebody. Mm. So if you can have something they can drive, they can check out the seats, they can feel it, they can test drive it, take it for a run it through its paces, much easier sell. So I talked to a uh, car buddy of mine who said, if you're going to have a showroom, you got to have every brand. Mm. So at that time, the only showrooms were around the country, and each manufacturer, they had their brand, just one simulator. Yeah. So our concept was bring all the simulators into one place, all the technology, so you can come in and test drive everything. If you're going to spend 60 grand on a simulator, you want to know what you're buying. For sure. I mean, now it's down to 15, 20, 35, 65, and 110 is kind of your price points. Okay. Just like cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to buy a, a Yugo or you want to buy a Tesla? Right? Or a Ferrari. Hey, yeah, we're that Ferrari. <laughs> we're the Ferrari. Here's your Ferrari right here. here so this go. is the Ferrari one? You're going to hit the Ferrari. This is, okay. this is our, our largest, not largest, this is our curve screen, okay. our large curve screen. We do these in a 180 degree curve now as well. Okay. Because we custom make anything, you give me a room and we'll put a simulator in it. I don't care if it's 50 feet wide, you name it, we can put a simulator in it. As wow. big as you want to go. Oh, that's tight. The bigger the better. The bigger the better. Curve room. Never heard a man ask me for a smaller screen. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? You ever want a small TV at home? No, no, no. Nobody wants the biggest screen. Yeah, gotta have the big one. That's right. The bigger <laughs> screen I can fit in the space. That's what we, we customize it wall to wall, floor to ceiling. Every screen's custom made here in shop. Oh, that's sick. So it's pretty cool. So sick. Yeah, it's a good I time. I can't wait to hit some, man. It's fun. You'll have Let's a good do time. It. Yeah. All right. Heck yeah. Grab that glove. Man, ready. Oh. Is this your phone? Yes, yeah, my phone. <laughs> Y'all see this? <laughs> This man, he, he he's he's dating way, way, way. <laughs> you married you married her yet? Hey, not yet. All right, not yet. <laughs> you're, you're, but we might you're, have to. You're doing. You're, he's doing good. Hey, I got the B red <laughs> seal. <laughs> He's doing good. <laughs> oh my God. And Mama says she's a sweetheart. So that's, hey, that's yeah, a yeah, yeah. Mama says she's cool. If Mama's yeah. good with her, it's all good, right? I love it, man. All right. Well, I'm going to go hit some balls, Have man. a good time. Hit some balls. I can't have wait to time. check it out, all right, man. See ya. Thank good. you. See y'all. Oh, this is so cool. I love the curve. Oh, I hit that way in the bugger. This is so tight. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's where it went. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh so I have like my own junior golf academy that I started in 2016. Um, we teach golf year round. Um, like I said, I try to teach the kids who don't want to be good at golf, but who 
Um, their parents just want them to be a part of a tribe. Kids who are the mouth breathers, you know what I'm saying? Kids who can pick last. Let me, let me get the kids who no longer want to play soccer because they burn out or theater kids. I can have a place where they can all participate um, with the country club kids, of course, and like they can all play a game instead of the same opportunity to win because I'm not just based on who can hit it the closest to 137 yards. We play games like, um, hey guys, we're gonna have a 100 foot putt today. Whoever can make the 100 foot putt's gonna win a brand new golf club. I know that seems very daunting, Paul, but Johnny, if you can show me five swings in a row where you can hold your finish, I'll let you move 20 feet closer. Yeah, so then the kids have like their own choices, so then at the end we have like 10 kids 20 feet away, where like 80 kids are 100 feet away, but now it's a little bit more random. I set up like, um, you know like when you go bowling, it's like the gutter rail. So like it's, it's, it's very obtainable. So if we have like 60 kids for camp, it's like, all right, ladies and gentlemen, there's only going to be 10 winners today. What? Only 10. I know. Look how many of you guys it is. It's all good. Some of you guys are going to take some L's, but it's all good. But, like, that's what kids don't get nowadays. Like, I don't have to tell you. It's like, they're, they're scared to try anything new because they don't want to look bad. So I use real games, not gamification. We, we, we spend a lot of time studying, like, the toy industry, video games, board games, puzzles. Like, it's that because these kids are pretty smart. You can't just say, hey put to this circle and call it a game. Like, that's not a game. A game's a series of meaningful choices to a quantifiable outcome. And we can quantify those outcomes that aren't based on skill. So now more kids are like, we want to try. Like, simulator golf's dominating. So that's really like, that's, that's what like gets me pumped up in the morning. So this is completely closed. It's private appointment only in here. Showroom. Every simulator in the world. Loof. Loof at ten ladies. Oh, there it is. Oh, you're right on it. That's the best shot of my life. You really get down. Why you go over it, <laughs> bro? <laughs> the wrong. Call. It's the. It's the wind. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's the one. That's that what. So good. Bounce left. There we go. Man. Yeah, I'm telling y'all. Is this where the magic happens right here? Oh. <laughs> that right there is what makes the whole place round. Yeah, the <laughs> you gotta have the carry. <laughs> gotta have the carry. No carry, no work. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right, JT, over here, JT, say hi. Hi, JT. So this is our sew table on steroids. Dang. This is where we make all our screens, soft goods, everything. Two sewing machines. This is our whole setup. So this is uh, kind of our brainchild of how to sew big format screens. 30 foot table, I mean, 12, 14 feet wide, 15 feet wide, 16 feet wide, excuse me. And then these are all, that's all DIY product getting ready to go out. Those okay. are all projects getting ready to go out. Okay. These shelves just got emptied with a bunch of stuff we shipped out overseas. We got a job in Grand Cayman. Dang. The guys are flying out next week. They're up right now in South Lake Tahoe doing a job. Dang. Just came back from Houston, going down to North Carolina. We're worldwide. Been to Italy, Bahamas, Hawaii, you name it. We've been there, done it. It seems like all over the world. Come on this way, we'll show you some more. What was your favorite simulator you've made so far? Italy by far. Italy? Okay. Yeah, it was done in a building that was built in the 14th century. Oh, shit. Haven't been remodeled or cut since the 16th century. Dang. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is our computer lab where they do all the programming. Okay. Mia does our social media in there as well. Everything's tested before it's sent out. So we know it works before we send it to customers out. Man, this building's huge. And this is all of our DIY frames, all pre made. This is our patented system I was telling you about. So these brackets and everything are all patented. Yeah. Uh, our nice work truck, we just got a, got a rack. Yes. Those are uh, rental sims here in these boxes on this shelf. This is where we rent simulators out to people. Okay. So if you're doing a show, you need a simulator, we'll go set it up for you. Yeah. 
leave it there for the evening or whatever you're doing, doing a show. What what unit would you say is like the like in terms of the the technology you move the most? You think like right now, Unicorn is a hot item. Okay, okay. Unicorn is okay. a hot one. Okay. Um, okay, it varies. Yeah, they're all good though. I can yeah. tell you, all manufacturer. <laughs> They've got to be within a percent. Every yeah. like, guys like you are no, testing no, no, them. Exactly. Like yeah. Guys yep. are testing them. They're yep. you know, on videos everywhere. Yep. If your data isn't good, you're going to get outed quick. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, hey, this guy doesn't have good data. Don't buy it. These are crazy getting ready to go out to jobs out of town, around the country where we're going. We put all the props in that, seal it all up, and ship it. And this is where we manufacture and make my stuff. Um, yeah. This is our shop. Man. This is where we're building things. Dude, I'm telling you guys right now, what an experience to be here with the creator, IGD, Appreciate it, Brad. Appreciate it, he also um, ex-professional golfer, and he gave me a couple tips that I didn't <laughs> even know. So, you know, we, we got there at the same level. That was fun, all right. Your team's incredible, too. So I just want to say thank you so much for 